it's time for our fourth single guy. Would you come out, please, sir? Come stand right next to me. That's crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's your name? Just because they height shaming. That's what it is. They height shaming already. Baby, hey, put your cash up in the comments, man. Y'all already know how I do. Also, if you want to join the thousand dollar giveaway. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel and go and follow me on Instagram at 200 underscore acres. We'll be doing the giveaway live on this channel on August 22nd. You don't want to miss it. Let's get into the video. Huh? My name is Devin Davis. I'm 26 and I'm an entrepreneur. Um, it's a lot that I do. So I'm a fashion designer, model, fitness coach. I have a podcast channel on my YouTube channel called Get Right to Get Love. I got some more stuff that I'm working on as well, but that's just a little basis. Okay, we'll step in a little bit. Okay, my boy on YouTube too. What'd he say? Get right to get left. I'm gonna check him out and see what he got going on on there. Y'all go support it, bro. Bro too. Get right or get left. What What would you say you look for in women? Starting off, most definitely looking for a God-fearing woman. Um, I'm very spiritual based, uh, a woman that is very conscious and aware of her health, um, a woman that truly knows herself, loves herself, and pretty confident. Um, that's about the base, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you had to pick any deal breakers, uh, what would you say those deal breakers are? My deal breaker would be health. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm like Allen Iverson when it comes to health. Like, okay. We talking about health, so I feel like any rebuttal or disagreement about health is like my deal breaker. I feel like we shouldn't have to debate about what your body, what you consume, with your mind, mm -hmm. body, spirit, etc. So I say health. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh That's a good analyzation and i love the way he said it because he really meant it in a way of yeah you ain't finna be he said it in a nice way instead of saying like yeah you can't be a big you can't just be overweight he just said health smart man smart man and that's very 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 true a lot of people don't take that serious huh man and, and it's very serious you feel me you got to take your health serious a few women let their balloons go so we're going to See what they're about. Okay. Bet. Starting from here. All right, here we go. Uh, name, age, what do you do? Casey. Come on in. Okay, I'm okay. 25. I'm a chef and a caregiver. Okay. And um, why did you let your balloon go? I knew exactly who you were when you walked in. Yeah. But that's not why. I mean, um, it's a high thing for me. For that's sure. it. That's it. You're handsome. Every time I see you, I'll be like, he he can dress. He he got his shit going on. Thank but, you. I appreciate yeah. it. That's for, it's just a high thing. That's a high Most thing. definitely. Respect, okay. respect. Cool. And is, is Casey someone that you would approach in public? Is she your type? Yes and no. Okay. Uh, I have a type, but I don't have a type. The more mature I get and going more to my spirituality, God kind of transformed my thought because we are led to have a preference due to society's view. Okay. But the more older you get and the more you start to learn more about yourself, those are just more materialistic things. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's more about the internal than the external. Okay. So grandly, of course, like I love my woman to uh, be feminine, submissive, uh, be fashionable, but of course be natural as well. And I love any woman that's natural. So... We got some BBLs in here? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay, cool, cool. Man. Cool. Respect, respect. Yeah. All right, we'll come on down here. Uh right here. Name, age, and what do you do? I am Ricky. I'm 33. I'm an academic counselor in higher education. Okay, and why did you let your balloon go? I mean, you're very handsome. Um, I like your swag and everything, but um, baby, you said you're 26, I'm 33, so seven year age difference. Age your number no number. <laughs> I know, but when you might. She's 33? And her niece is 26? Well, that means her sister has to be older. That's what I'm thinking, but I. Black don't crack, but. I'm gonna just say, 
I thought she was older than 33. I'm going to just say that. It's, it's way, it's the number matters. I see, I see. Is this, is, uh, is Ricky your type? Is she someone that you would approach in public? She's not somebody that I would approach in public. Okay, why, why not? Um, why not? <laughs> Uh, like I said, going back to the more natural, I prefer natural. Nothing wrong with the wig or nothing like that. I uh, love the He's lying. Don't lie to her, bro. That wig ain't it, bro. That's why she got that hat covering it. I ain't against wigs, man. I ain't, I ain't against it, so y'all don't come for me. But y'all know good, good and well that that ain't it. Y'all know that. You feel what I'm saying? No way. No. Nah. You need to swap that, change that. A melanated woman. Yeah, um, yeah just not my preference. Okay, yeah. cool. It's Nothing crazy. major. Man, we, we gotta see the lot. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Okay, okay. All right. I want you to get to know me, but this first impression, so I get it. Yeah, most definitely. And even when it comes to to the age, like I feel like age is it really is a number once you really get to know somebody. Because I know forty year olds that don't have the mindset that I have yet at twenty six. So. I, I'm one of those believe that age is a number, and that's when I feel like you just gotta really get to know somebody because sometimes you can talk to somebody that's your age, but you meet somebody young, you're like, dang, this person is way more mature. So I understand, but I don't understand at the same time. But I respect it though. Okay, yeah, cool. for sure. Cool. Like you said, you like a natural woman, but you didn't know I got locks up under these weeds, so. Sign yeah, me. for sure. Boom. All right. Coming on down. Okay, name, age, and what do you do? Why don't she show the locks? I'm pretty sure the locks look way better than that. Have you seen this, sweetheart? Please wear your locks. Wear your locks. Don't put that on. Don't put that on. Come on. And I'm in human resources. For sure. Why did you let your balloon go? Um, first of all, now this is how you show up. Okay. <laughs> this is how you show up. This is how you thank do it. Thank you, thank you. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. You have a beautiful smile, beautiful thank eyes. You. Um, I just don't think the attraction would be there for me. <laughs> but <laughs> you are handsome now. Don't get me wrong. I like thank the chest out, the texture on. You know, so. That's thank you. For sure. Okay. okay. Is Leisha someone that you would approach in public shield type? Uh, she most definitely somebody that I would approach. We a I actually reached out to her to do business with, but you know things happen. But yeah, you look familiar. Yeah. 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 But she was definitely somebody that I would approach. Man, I'm about to find some total strangers, man. You know. what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Lee. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Come on down. Come on down. This is hilarious. He very is. Okay, name, age, what do you do? My name is Kayla, I'm 25, and I deal with juvenile delinquents, the mental health aspect of it. Okay, and why did you let your balloon go? I basically grew up with him. It's no way possible. Re really? Yeah, yeah. My dad was his basketball coach. It's, wow. Yeah. Little bitty, it's no way. No way yeah. I could even look at him in that way. This okay. Is like, okay. So, so like, like brother, sister, brother, right. sister, cousin, what do you want to call it? Yeah. <laughs> her, her father was most definitely like a, a major father figure in my life uh, because he brought me up within sports. And he was like my only male figure on a day to day basis. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. There's no way I could look at him in that way. Yeah. Okay. So, what's up? So, what's up? All right, we're going to bring it on back. We're gonna bring it. I'm not going to ask you go approach him. We ain't doing it. Yeah, we're going to bring it on back. Oh, right here. Do you have a question for Dave? Um, I have, I'm trying to see which one. I got um, 10 questions. No, I have two because okay. I don't want to start with the wrong one and I let my balloon go because he gave me the wrong answer. But um, first of all, you look nice, like she said. Thank I you. couldn't care. Like, you, you came with it. Um, uh, very well spoken, all of that. The question, I guess, I guess I will start with the one that I guess would be more important to me. Um, when you say that you're spiritual, I mean, you kind of, you know, led with it. So um, I don't usually like just lead with it, but you led with it. Mm -hmm. um, when you say you're spiritual, um, God fearing, like, how. Would you define? Because some people say I'm spiritual, but they choose. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really into yeah. the whole. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, spiritual, I'm definitely, spiritual, yeah. whatever. So do you mean like God fearing, like Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior type spiritual, or do you mean like you tapping into other things? And that's a great question. Cause these days they ain't people into all type of stuff. Don't bring no crystal in my house. Don't bring no Ouija board in my house. Don't bring no none of that. None of that. So when people say 
spiritual i need to know what type of spiritual like is you in there trying to talk to your uncle or something that's been dead 10 years is you trying to summon up some or something i need to know if you into that so i cannot be around you you feel me or do you worship jesus like myself and you into that and then you can be we can we can chill out you feel what i'm saying yeah, okay. uh, you know, yeah. chakras most definitely but um little sum of everything i'm really tapping into my higher self mm -hmm. to answer your question um furthermore i don't relate i don't set myself to any religion at all like i'm a i'm a, I'm a god child so <laughs> i feel like a lot of <laughs> so i feel like a lot of over the time, I realized that a lot of Christians be the main ones to be contradicting themselves and very, um, what's the word? Uh, hypocritical. Yeah, hypocritical. Yeah. So that's why I just I just follow God. So when it comes to spiritual, I'm one of those people that, that had their mindset, nothing is coincidental. Everything is for a purpose. Everything has. Well, that's true, though. Like, a lot of Christians are hypocritical. That's why you don't look to Christians. You got to look to Jesus, because Jesus is the only one that's not hypocritical. He's the only one that stood and could be perfect. That's why when I hear a lot of people say, well, I'm not a Christian no more because this pastor did this or this person did this who say they're a Christian. Well, you can't go by that. You got to go by Jesus because Jesus is the only per perfect person. You don't go. You don't follow a person because a person going to always fail you. You got to follow him and how he moved. And you have to strive to try to be that perfect Christian. You got to strive to perfection. You will never reach it on this earth. But your goal is to strive towards it every day, looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and not to any Christian or any person claiming Christianity. Because we see many fake city girl Christians on this show. They say they're Christians, but they host... What was the other girl? She hosts Christian parties. I'm like, what you gonna do with a Christian party with tattoos on her leg, on her knees? Like, well, I mean, wearing busted with your titties out. Like, but you're a Christian. Like, I understand exactly what you're saying, but you don't look to them. You look to Jesus Christ. You feel me? That's a little sermon for the day. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. what I mean. I mean, yeah, it was, I just had to get an understanding of what you meant. Um, for me, it's just like the base of it. Um, God, Jesus, Holy Ghost, you know, they're yeah. one, and I believe that. And, you know, yes, your preference, I respect it. I, I always like sitting down with people and having those type of conversations. Mm -hmm. But other than that, you probably would have been. So what was the other question? Um, The other question was about health. Okay. Um, I definitely can get with the whole health thing, but sometimes I'm big back, big back. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I'm getting there. Yeah. Now, granted, I used to be in high school. I ran. I did cross country. I mm -hmm. uh, band. I was march. I did all those things. But, you know, as you get older, you know, it's just you're, you're not under your parents no more. They don't feed you. You feed mm -hmm. yourself. So I feel like. It wasn't a big thing. I mean, I'm the type of person that can't adjust, you know, submissive or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, but it was just, you know, that's why I asked the, I was trying to see which one, you know, because I wanted to see which one. But, you know, you answered my question. Okay. And um, for me, it's a no because of that. Because it's, it just seems too, um, what's the word? Okay. No, um, complicated. You know, sometimes for me, like, the, the what you explain, like how we are, that seems more simple to me. And it mm -hmm. seems what you're doing is a little more complicated. But, Complicated in what way? I don't like know. it's just like it's about to be a whole list talk. I know it, it is. It's just it, I don't know. It's just it's just a preference. Like you, I, like I say, I sit down with people like this all the time, and I talk, and it's like your preference, your preference. I don't mm -hmm. mind hearing it, but it's just like it's either or for me, yeah. and it's like what you explain it, it's just not my for sure. My take on it. I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't ask you uh, your name, age, and, and what you do, but I'm gonna ask it real quick. Name, age, what do you do? Uh, my name is Kayana. I am 26. I am a hairstylist and a makeup artist, and I also work in the medical field as a surgical tech. Is Kayana someone that you would approach out in public? Is she your type? How we feeling? Yeah, she most definitely my type, and she's somebody I would approach in public. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, we're gonna take it on back, take it on back. All right, uh, no luck this time, Dev, uh, but I appreciate you for coming on the show and showing such confidence and bravery. Uh, you can leave. He seemed like a good dude, man. But y'all tell me, was that a valid reason to reject him or was she bugging? Now, me, my take is absolutely. If religious religious beliefs are like that, that's huge. Like if you believe in a Christian, all that stuff, I won't date you. I don't want to like that's just my preference. 
so I can understand where she's coming from. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that situation. You feel what I'm saying? But hey, thank you guys for watching the video. And always remember, be safe out there, King. See you guys next video. Let's get it.